How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back with another video. So, of course, and with another week of NFL football upon us, it's time to go over the NFL Week 3 picks. So, of course, last week in my picks, I went 13 and 3. So, my overall record this year improves to 21 and 11. So, yeah, another solid week. So, let's try and build off and get another solid week in there. So, yeah, enough talk. Let's jump right into the games this week. There's a lot of games to go through. So, first game this week, we start off with the Thursday night game. Miami Dolphins, Jacksonville Jaguars playing in Jacksonville. So, it's going to be a battle of two trash teams on Thursday night. Yes, folks, do you like do you like trash teams battling in prime time? That Thursday night is the place for you. Jesus Christ, why is it that every Thursday, like, we have trash teams playing on Thursday night almost every year? But then again, somebody has to play on Thursday nights. Yeah, this game, it's two teams that suck. Um, I'm going to go Jacksonville. I don't think the Dolphins win a game with Fitzception until fucking... Whatchamacallit. I don't think they win until Tua goes in. So I'm going to say Jacksonville wins and Miami goes to 0-3. But so let's move on to the Sunday games. First game, we have the Chicago Bears... And the Atlanta Fail Clowns playing in Atlanta. Of course, Atlanta last week blew a 20-point lead, first half lead to the Cowboys. And Royal Fashion. Especially with the onside kick when they didn't even know what the hell they were doing. They just sat there, stood there and let them get the ball back. Like, what the hell were they doing? Like, goddamn, that game just showed that Atlanta still hasn't recovered from 28-3. Yeah, at all. They learned nothing from that game. Hell, Dan Quinn says that the piece said the players knew the onside kick rules, but Arthur Blank, the owner, calls bullshit, saying that it didn't look like the players understood the rules. I have to agree with Arthur Blank on it. It didn't even look like they knew what they were doing out there. They just let the ball roll and let Dallas jump on top of it. But yeah, of course, I'm the Bears. I'm at 2-0 so far, shockingly, this year. Yeah, Trubitsky looks solid. Then again, Trubitsky played the Giants and the Trash Lines defense. So this game, I'm going to go Falcons. I'm going to go Falcons. I think it's a trap game for Chicago. I'm going to go Atlanta on this one. Next game, we actually got a good matchup here. Two undefeated teams. Los Angeles Rams, Buffalo Bills playing in Buffalo. Buffalo's looked really good, though. And same deal with the Rams, especially the Rams coming off that big win against the Eagles in blowout fashion. The Bills having, of course, the two wins so far. I'm going to go Buffalo on this one. It could go either way. I'm going to go to Bills. Give me Buffalo on this one. Next game, Washington FC, Cleveland Browns playing in Cleveland. Cleveland coming off the good a big win against the uh, Bengals last so Thursday night. I'm gonna go Browns on this one. I'm gonna go Cleveland to beat Washington, and Cleveland goes to two and one. Next game, we have the Tennessee Titans, Minnesota Vikings playing in Minnesota. Uh, I'm gonna go Tennessee on this one. Minnesota's just look completely lost so far this year. Now, I'm gonna go Tennessee on this one. Give me the Titans. Next game's going to be an interesting one. Las Vegas Raiders. New England Patriots playing up in Foxborough. Cam Newton's had a really solid season so far. Of course, some of the, the Patriots coming off that heartbreaking loss against the Seahawks on Sunday night when Cam Newton failed to get in to run the ball in in the dying seconds on the goal line. So I'm going to go Patriots. I think the Patriots pick up where they are going to rebound and come... With a giant chip on their shoulder. I'm going to go New England to beat the Raiders. Give me the Patriots in that one. Next game. We got two injury riddled teams. San Francisco 49ers. New York Giants playing in MetLife. Um, Giants will be without Saquon Barkley. After Saquon got an injury. And the 49ers got hammered with injuries. To both Nick Bosa and Solomon Thomas. Both out for the year with ACL tears. Like, but, and, of course, um, Jimmy Garoppolo more than likely out for this game with Nick Mullins. You know, 49ers got hammered with injuries. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say the Giants win this game. 
I'm going to take the Giants to win and get their first win of the year. Give me the Giants in this one. Next game. Cincinnati Bengals, Philadelphia Eagles playing in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is completely lost this year. Of course, um, Joe Burrow almost pulled off the win last week but fell short. So, for Philadelphia, and of course, some Carson Wentz was getting booed at home last week with no fans in attendance. Yes, figure that out. This one, it's going to be a tough one. Two winless teams, so someone's going to be guaranteed to win this game. I'm going to go upset, and I'm going to take the Bengals on the road. Hey, give me Cincinnati in this one. Next game, Houston Texans. Pittsburgh Steelers playing at Pittsburgh. Houston has suffered two blowout losses to open the season, getting hammered by both Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. This week, the Houston's defense doesn't get any breaks because now they're playing Pittsburgh and Ben Roethlisberger. And Ben's look looking to be back to where he left off last year before he got injured. I'm going to go Steelers on this one. Steelers just look a lot more improved. So I'm going to go Steelers. Give me the Steelers in this one. Next game, New York Jets, Indianapolis Colts playing in Indianapolis. Indianapolis had a really dominant win over the Vikings last week. And, of course, the Jets have looked completely lost this so far this year. I'm going to go Colts on this one. Give me Indianapolis to win this game. Next game, Carolina Panthers, L.A. Chargers playing in Los Angeles. Tywan Taylor expected to still be the starter instead of Justin Herbert. Despite Justin Herbert having a pretty solid game last week, having to come in last minute after Tyrod Taylor was injured by having his lung punctured when the doctor fucked up injecting painkillers into Tyrod. That's the most Chargers way to get injured that I've ever heard. Having your lung puncture because a doctor fucked up injecting painkillers in you. Yeah, that's some 10 out of 10 medical skills from that doctor. Surprise, the Chargers didn't fire him. Fuck you, Spanos. But this game, um, I'm going to go with the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, For the Panthers, not having Christian McCaffrey is going to be a big blow to that offense. You know, I just don't see how they can beat the Chargers without McCaffrey. So... I'm going to go Chargers to get the win there, so give me the Chargers in that one. Next game, Tampa Bay Broncos. I mean, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Denver Broncos playing in Denver. I'm going to go Denver on this one, and here's why. Because Tom Brady has a losing record against the Broncos, and usually every time Brady's ever played in Denver, he usually struggles. So I'm going to go with the Broncos to pull off the upset. Yeah, I'm going to take Broncos over the Buccaneers. Usually week three is the week we see a lot of upsets, so I'm going to go with that one. Next game, Detroit Lions. Arizona Cardinals playing in Arizona. Upset of the week, I'm taking the Lions on the road. I think it's a trap game for Arizona. So give me the Lions in that one. Next game, we got what's going to be advertised as America's Game of the Week on Fox. Dallas Cowboys. Seattle Seahawks playing in Seattle. Dallas had that miraculous 20-point comeback win over the Falcons last week when the Falcons didn't even know what the hell they were doing for an onside kick. So massive props to Dallas. Seattle, of course, 2-0, coming off that nail-biting win over the Patriots on Sunday night last week. I'm going to say Seattle keeps it rolling. I think Seattle is got is on a roll, and they're going to keep the momentum going. So give me the Seahawks at home against the Cowboys. I got Seattle. Next game, Sunday Night Football. We have the Green Bay Packers and the New Orleans Saints playing in New Orleans. The Saints last week were completely lost against the Raiders. Mainly not having Michael Thomas in was a big blow to the Saints offense. Drew just looked completely lost. But I think Drew Brees will rebound in this game because he's going up against Aaron Rodgers, so that's going to be a marquee quarterback matchup. This ain't a debate for me. Of course I'm going to pick the Saints. Fuck the Packers. I'm taking the Saints at home in this game. Give me New Orleans. And of course, the Monday night game. This is going to be the real game of the week. This is going to be a good offensive game. Kansas City Chiefs. Baltimore Ravens playing in Baltimore. 
Patrick Mahomes versus Lamar Jackson. This is going to be a really good matchup. Of course, um, um, with Patrick, both quarterbacks have met twice already this in their careers. Mahomes has won the first two meetings. This one, I think this game's going to be an offensive shootout. Like, I think both teams are going to score 40 points each. I'm going to make that my prediction. Both teams score over 40. I'm going to say Lamar Jackson gets this one over Mahomes. I'm going to take the Ravens to win this game. Uh, four, I'm going to take the Ravens 45-42. to 42. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. So give me the Ravens, and I'm going to say Lamar finally beats Patrick Mahomes. So yeah, those are my NFL Week 3 picks. What are your picks? Let's debate in the comments. But I think there's going to be a lot of upsets this week. But yeah, that's all I got to say, folks. Hope everyone has a great day, and yeah, peace out.